Last night, the Financial Times unearthed a story from the 19th century documenting a historic case of misogynist behaviour by aristocratic boors at a Victorian philanthropist's club. Ash, it was uh, last week. What? It was an event last Thursday. Oh, for fuck's sake. Last night, the Financial Times broke a story having sent an undercover reporter to the President's Club charity dinner at the Dorchester Hotel. The event was a strictly men-only affair, aside from the presence of hostesses. Tall, thin and pretty women were paid just £150 for 10 hours' work, despite the black tie dinner raising £2 million from attendees. Instructed to wear black, sexy shoes, matching underwear and tight black dresses, the women were told to hand in their phones for the evening and sign non-disclosure agreements. Time spent in the bathroom was tightly monitored by a security guard, and an enforcement team toured the ballroom to ensure that all hostesses were keeping attendees happy at all times. So far, so ominous. And despite a full page warning in the events brochure that guests were in no circumstances to sexually harass staff, hostesses were groped, propositioned, and one woman reported that a diner had exposed his penis to her. To be honest with you, I don't know what's more obscene. The sexist behaviour, the fact that access to our foreign secretary and governor of the Bank of England can literally be bought at auction, or that Nadim Zahawi, a child protection minister, was in attendance at an event which proudly advertised its sleazeball credentials. But what I do know is this, that wherever women are disempowered, wealthy men are able to take sexual advantage. From Dominique Strauss-Kahn to Damien Green, the gatekeepers of power have shown time and again complete disregard for women's basic right to work unmolested. In the UK, one in five women has been sexually harassed at work. 58% of them never reported it to their employer, with more than half citing intimidation as the reason they didn't speak up. Extreme inequality contributes to a culture of sexual entitlement and enforces women's silence. Unless it's a fucking Cobra meeting, politicians have no business attending an event where women have been sworn to secrecy. The President's Club has no place in 2018, and we're calling times up on this corrupt culture of money, power and misogyny.